Good evening. From time to time, the Board of Governors of the Academy of Motion Pictures, Arts and Sciences decides to bestow the Irving Thalberg Award upon a filmmaker whose body of work has been deemed outstanding. Perhaps it can be said that the young Irving Thalberg was the main architect of Hollywood's golden age. Whatever color the movies are now is due in great part to the prodigious talents and the enormous influence of still another young filmmaker. Tonight, the Board of Governors of the Academy presents the Irving Thalberg Award to a man who does full honor to the list of those who have received it before him. He stands in mid-career, and yet he has already achieved an astounding body of work, and hundreds of millions of moviegoers all over the world are waiting eagerly to go wherever he decides to lead them. Ladies and gentlemen, Steven Spielberg. Resisting like crazy to use Sally Field's line from two years ago. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, following in the footsteps of some of my heroes, Cecil B. DeMille and George Stevens, Alfred Hitchcock, William Wyler, Igmar Bergman, and Robert Wise, this award is truly a great honor for me. The Thalberg Award was first given 50 years ago in 1937, which was the year of an old Chicago, Captain's Courageous, Dead End, The Life of Emil Zola, Lost Horizon, Stage Door, and A Star is Born, all having been nominated for Best Picture that year. I'm told Irving Thalberg worshiped writers, and that's where it all begins, that we are first and foremost storytellers, and without, as he called it, the photoplay Everybody is simply improvising. He also knew that a script is more than just a blueprint, that the whole idea of movie magic is that interweave of powerful image and dialogue and performance and music that can never be separated, and when it's working right, can never be duplicated or ever forgotten. I've grown up most of my life has been spent in the dark watching movies. Movies have been the literature of my life. The literature of Irving Thalberg's generation was books and plays. They read the great words of great minds. And I think in our romance with technology and our excitement at exploring all the possibilities of film and video, I think we've partially lost something that we now have to reclaim. I think it's time to renew our romance with the word. I'm as culpable as anyone in having exalted the image of the word at the expense of at the image, exalted, exalting the image at the expense of the word. But only a generation of readers will spawn a generation of writers. The five films nominated for Best Picture this year are as much the writer's film as the director's. And it's good news that each of these films has found its audience because this audience, who we all work for, deserves everything we have to give them. They deserve that fifth draft, that tenth take, that one extra cut, and those several 
dollars over budget. Yeah. And Irving Thalberg knew that. He would have been proud to have been associated with any of these films, as I'm proud to have my name on this award in his honor, because it reminds me of really how much growth as an artist I have ahead of me in order to be worthy of standing in the company of those who have received this before me. So my deepest thanks to the Board of Governors of the Academy and the audience out there in the dark. Thank you very much.